How do you expand in Illustrator? So the expand feature is pretty nice. You could turn a stroke into a fill. You could take a, a, an effect like this guy right here, which is a radial repeat. So it takes one circle and repeats it around. And you could actually turn this into shapes. It's no longer, it'll no longer be an editable effect, but it will be shapes that you can edit. So to do that, we would select whatever our object is that has whatever appearance settings, whatever effect settings, whatever fill and stroke settings, and then go up to object and go down to expand. Once we click expand, it's going to allow us to select what, what particular elements we want to expand. In this case, I would just usually check mark all of them because when you're wanting to expand, you're probably just wanting everything to expand. So click OK. And now it's expanded. It is a group, but it's expanded to where all of these are shapes now. It got rid of the effect, which is sort of like this live effect that was happening. And now everything is a shape. So I could ungroup this by right clicking, going to ungroup. And now I've got all these individual shapes instead of one big effect. So that's how you can do that. The other way is you could turn a stroke into a fill, for instance. So we grab this line segment tool and just create a line segment. I'm going to make sure my properties panel actually give it a stroke that we can see, like a 20 point stroke. So, and then I could also maybe even click on stroke and round off the ends. Instead of just making this a rectangle, we'll actually have like a rounded stroke. So this stroke is a stroke right now. I could turn it into a fill by expanding that stroke. We go back up to object, down to expand, and then we could expand both the fill and the stroke, no biggie, hit OK. And now this is a shape instead of a stroke if you wanted to flip something like that. The last thing that you can do here is expand appearance. So I'm going to steal this circle really quick. And if you have anything going on in the appearance, so let's say, let's open up this appearance panel and we're going to add something here. We're going to add an effect. Maybe we're going to add something like, actually, let's add a stroke to this. So we're going to add a new stroke. So we've got a stroke out here. We're going to make sure this stroke is like 10 points so we can see it. And then we're going to go to effects and we're going to go to path and do, let's do offset path. And so it offsets the stroke a little bit and we could bump that out some. So now we have this sort of offset uh, stroke and I think we offset the fill. So let's actually select this stroke and see if we can offset that instead of, there we go. So we didn't have stroke selected, but we're offsetting the stroke, right? So we're hitting okay. So now it's not just a stroke. It's like an effect in the appearance panel applied and you can see how we have the fill and then the stroke is offset. If I like this and I wanted to just expand all of that, so now I have shapes Instead, I can go up to object and instead of expand, in this case, because we did some edits in the appearance panel, it's going to be expand appearance. So we click expand appearance and now when we zoom in here, we can see that we have this shape and actually this path out here now because that was a stroke. It expanded the appearance of what was happening here. No longer do I need that offset path. It's now just a stroke at that size. And so if I wanted that to be a fill, you know what we'd have to do. We would go back up to object and go down to expand to make that a fill. But maybe I don't want it to be. But that's just another example of expanding and expanding appearance here in Illustrator.